All right, so this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Skyrim together with a basic modding setup so you can start modifying Skyrim together. So we're gonna install Skyrim together, we're gonna install Model Organizer 2, and we're gonna install the Script Extender, which is SKSE64. Along the way, we're also gonna be troubleshooting a lot of the problems that can come up with Skyrim together and mods. So things like Skyrim together not finding your installation folder or problems with the new anniversary edition of the game. So we'll just kind of troubleshoot those as we go. So this video is also be broken into chapters, so you can just jump around to whatever part you need to be working on or whatever you need to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the web browser. We're gonna go and get Skyrim together. And we're gonna go to this link, this GitHub link. We're gonna grab Skyrim together. And I'll include links to all the URLs I use down in the description box. And then we're at GitHub, and all we have to do is just, we just have to click on the Harbor EXE. All right, so once Harbor's downloaded, you can go ahead and just click on it here. Or if it doesn't show up here, you can go ahead and just go to your downloads folder and run it. So we go ahead and run it. Windows might pop up and ask you if you're sure about this. Go ahead and say yes. And then we'll, we'll just go through the installer. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it on the default location. All right, so once it finishes, it'll have the run Harbor thing checked. Go ahead and leave that because we do want to open up Harbor. And go ahead and just click finish. I'm gonna ask you again, go ahead and do it, yes. All right, so now you're in the, the Harbor launcher. And if it, say, it says here, game not found, what you need to do is you need to click on this magnifying glass right here. You need to point it to where you've installed Skyrim. And since mine isn't installed on C, I have to select this folder, which it already knows. So I can just go ahead and hit select folder. And now it comes up and says install. So I can go ahead and hit install. And then it will download the Skyrim and the other stuff that I need. Now, if when you're here, you click install and it goes to integrity check and just hangs on that integrity check, that is a problem. I do have a fixed video that I did for that problem. So you can go ahead and just go watch that video. All right, so once it finishes downloading, you can go ahead and hit play. So here at this point, if you hit play and it comes up and says something like this version not supported, you're gonna need to go and use the downgrade patcher because anniversary edition breaks Skyrim together along with a lot of other mods. So you have to use that downgrade patcher to revert back to the old old version of the game. But for us, we don't need to do that. It should work right now. So we're good on, the, on that front. So we're gonna go ahead and go and get Mod Organizer 2. So you can use other programs for this, but I prefer Mod Organizer 2 because I feel like it's just, it's the least buggy of the Mod Organizer for the game. You can get this from Nexus if you want, but if you get this from Nexus, you'll have to log in and make an account. So we're not gonna go and get it off Nexus. We're we're actually gonna go and get it off GitHub because then we don't have to log in. So you go in here and you just go ahead and just grab this. So just click on the Modern Azure EXE and we just wait for that to download. Once Modern Azure finishes downloading, you can go ahead and just click on here. If it doesn't show up here, you can just go to your downloads folder and run it, but we'll go ahead and just run it from here. Windows might freak out, go ahead and just hit yes. And we'll just walk through this installation. You can install it wherever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and install it where it wants to. Let's see, go ahead and hit install. All right, and so one of these two, it says here, we'll do you wanna launch Modern Azure? And we'll go ahead and launch it. And then we'll come up with creating a new instance. So the first time you launch Modern Azure, we get this new instance screen. So you go just go ahead and hit next and you can create a global instance or a portable. I always use portable just cause it's more conducive to the way I mod game. So go ahead and just hit portable. It will come out and ask you what game you wanna be using this Modern Azure for. We we'll use special edition for Skyrim and then it'll ask you where you want this portable instance to be. Now I am gonna change this. So just click on those three dots and we can change it here. We'll go ahead and say test mo2 and we'll make that our folder and go ahead and hit next and then we just hit finish and then we'll launch up modernizer and it'll ask the shields in the tutorial i'm not going to do that but you can if you want to and then we're just in here in mod organizer so the last thing we need to do, the last thing we need to get is we need to get the script extender, which is SKSC64. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our web browser again, and we're gonna go to the SKSC Silverlock website, and all the links for these URLs will be down in the description. So we go ahead and go here. Now, one of the things is, is that when you go here, we can't use the newest version of SC. You don't want this one right here. It says the current SC build 2.020. We don't want that one. That one won't work. We need to go to archived builds right here. So the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and just hit the last modify that twice there we go and now it makes the list organized so we can go through it very easily and we want skse 219 right here so sk64 20019 so go ahead and click on that download it here we go download it now we're gonna go ahead and open this right here and we're gonna go ahead and double click on this skse 64 go in here and we got these files right here so we want three files out of this, these files right here so we want this skse dll the skse loader and this SKSC64 Steam Loader. 
So we're gonna go ahead and drag all three of those in here like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and just drag this data folder. You can go in there and take just the PEX files out, but in my experience, it doesn't actually matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this, bring this whole folder over, drop it in here, okay? And that's all we need to do for SKSE. So go ahead and go to that. Since we have SKSE installed, we have Modern Engine installed, and we have Skyrim together installed. Now we just have to make them work together and recognize each other. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Modern Engine. And so right here, it says Skyrim Special Edition. We're gonna go ahead and hit this, and we'll have a drop down menu. We're gonna go to edit. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this little plus right here. We're gonna go add from file. And the first thing we're gonna add, we'll add Skyrim together first. So go ahead and hit the stloader.exe and click open. And now we have the st loader in here. And we're gonna go hit the arrow again. We're gonna go add from file again and hit open. Okay, and we go ahead and hit apply, hit okay. And now when we look in here, we have the st loader and we have SKSE. And we can go ahead and hit the st loader, select it. That's all we have to do in order to get Skyrim together, working with Modern Ranger 2 and the script extender so you can start adding mods into your Modern Ranger and play them in Skyrim together.